guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky. Uh, another playing with drums. Another one involving the snare drum. Uh, we took a look already at, at putting a wallet on the snare drum and, and cutting the, the sound that way. Today we're going to take a look at putting a, a hand towel. So this is all easy stuff you can keep in your stick bag or your cymbal bag or your stand bag. Um, I also use a towel on the bass drum at my jazz gigs and I'll show you that in a different video. But again, here's the snare wide open. Here it's really wide open. With the towel, you can do a couple different things. You can just lay it right on here, like this. Okay, uh, that's gonna. Eventually, you'll chew your towel up a little bit, but you know, just get kind of a ratty one. Steal one from your mom or from your wife, uh, depending on how old you are. Or you might have to go buy one if you're a single guy, a bachelor, in college or something. Uh, but anyway, here's what uh, it sounds like with the towel on it. kind of an interesting sound, cuts it completely, gives it a somewhat of an electronic sound. Um, I don't know how well it's going to come through on the iPhone little microphone, um, but another thing that you can do is uh, fold the towel over a couple times and uh, we can put it up here at the top of the drum like this so we can actually play on the surface of the drum. And that's very similar to what the wallet does. So you can hear it just cuts all the overtones. Again, if you fold it over, same thing, we've pretty much squashed all the overtones. Alright. Uh, do the same thing, we can hit the towel for that kind of, uh, I don't know, over compressed sound if you're live and you need that sound. Now, if you have a problem with your towel sliding away, you can take some moon gel and uh, the towel will stick to it. This is old, it's not going to be sticky, but uh, the towel will stick to that a little bit. But uh, you could tape it on there. I don't use a towel on my snare drum a ton, just thought that I would show that to you. And uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at how to make the sound of our snare drum uh, drop lower for that kind of either. Uh, fat ballad sound or uh, maybe a pop tune. So hope to see you in the next one.